This is Acts chapter 16 verse 21 and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive neither to observe being Romans. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm the brother Taza War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this lesson here is in spirit with the flavor of the week, dealing with no class, vocab Malone, and how he strives to demonize us Hebrew Israelites, starting with the elect. And if you go to his page, you can clearly see that all his videos is against the Hebrew Israelites. Now he calls us the black Hebrew Israelites. You know, he has uh, men set up with him, you know, to basically demonize this truth. You know, you have various camps and you got men who wasn't studied and that fell away, okay, out of the truth. They're set up to demonize us being Hebrew Israelites. All right, and really, you can clearly see that he's sent by Yahweh by Shemi Shai on the left-hand side, and that's through Satan, all right, through the powers that be who set up the rule, that's Esau, Edom, all right? And, um, you know, before I even, excuse me, before I even read this, let me, let me grab Isaiah 45, all right? 45 and, and uh, start at 5. It says, I am Yahweh, and there is none else. There is no power beside me. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. So, with that being said, you should know that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai does all things. He created the good and he created the evil. So, you have Vo no class Vocab Malone who was set up on the left hand side to demonize us. Now, I just want to make a quick point. I wanted to make a quick point. I didn't want to make this video too long. All right. In hopes to edify those of the whole for elect to understand why the left hand side is set up to be an opposition now elder apostle gabar did a beautiful lesson called the opposition you know dealing with second address going into the straight gate you know because it's going to show forth the power of yahweh bashim yahushai remember what paul said he said we are killed all the day long nay we are more than conquerors through him that love us all right the most high shows his power through the humble through the weak and there's a reason why persecution the demonization you know and 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 uh the troubles that awaits us because yahweh bashim yahushai speaks on the straight gate how we have to walk through it i believe it was what uh fire on the left water on the right or vice versa you know traveling through a path you know one at a time all right roughly paraphrasing just dealing with the precept of straight gate that this truth is that way and what this is is doing you know is going to wield out two-thirds who 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 are woke to the fact that they're israelites but not following the uh right teachers to be rooted you know they're not studying nor do they have understanding you know today it's a uh it's like a fad you know it's a cool thing to know that you're an israelite and to know you know, most jakes, they always say they're original man. But we're coming into a time, season, and purpose under the heavens where it's not going to be so cool. And people are going to deny that they even affiliated themselves and calling themselves a Hebrew Israelite. But not realizing and understanding the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and what he's doing. All right. It's about to uplift brothers. <laughs> You know, and that's why we rejoice in Yahweh by Shemi Shai when persecuted. All right. So anyway, let's read this account here. This is Acts 16, 16. And it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying. Now, when you look into it, I'm going to look, I go into it real quick. You go into the uh, 
strong concordance here in the blue letter of uh, divination. All right. Strong's G, 4436. Puthon. Puthon. All right. It says in Greek mythology, the name of Pythian serpent or dragon that dwelt in the region of Pytho at the foot of Parnassus and Sosis and was said to have guarded the oracle of Delphi and been slain by Apollo. So this woman, okay, let's go back. This woman here, this damsel, which damsel is mean young woman, all right, or maid, she was possessed with a spirit of divination. Okay, so what is that? Divination is sort of like a lying spirit, okay? And she was speaking of what? You know, as it's here in the blue letter, it gives us a sort of understanding of what she may have been speaking about. Now it says Greek mythology. Now mythology is myth. Okay? It's not real. And this is what these Edomites push. All right? Greek mythology. You know, they pray into these false gods, which are no gods. They make planets out of gods. Excuse me. They call planets gods. They name the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday gods in which they worship all right so she was speaking of greek mythology basically of this python serpent or dragon that dwelled in the region of pytho at the foot of parnassus and sosis it says and was said to have guarded the oracles of delphi and been and been slain by apollo so she was speaking this this rubbish you know this bullshit and this lying spirit was deceiving people for much gain you know she was getting money for it you know, so, you know, and, and real quick, I'll go into uh, etymology since I had it queued up. And this is the word divination. Divination just means the act of foretelling by supernatural or magical means the future. It says discovering what is hidden or obscured. It says the power of foreseeing prediction. So she was predicting things. She was foreseeing things and warning people if they go up to this mountain this great beast was there it says literally to be inspired by a god now what is that god that's the god of satan all right which is lies deception all right so let's go back it says and it came to pass as we went to prayer a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us which brought her masters much gain by soothsaying the same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High, Yahweh, which show unto us the way of salvation. So I'm reading this account just to let you know. Well, excuse me. I'm reading this account to tie into today. All right. Because what happened in the past is what's happening today. And with Paul and Silas, this was a situation. Okay. This was a persecution situation for Paul, Silas, and the men. All right, of righteousness that was that was teaching Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Now notice it says, "Which show unto us the way of salvation." That's what we are. All right, the Lord set up men, okay, prophets, which was, which the word prophet means to uh, say before. All right, before they were prophets, they were called seers, visionaries. All right, they speak the word of the Most High. They are sent on the right hand side of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to speak the words of the Most High. And we speak the ways of salvation, which was given to us by Yahweh Shai. All right. We teach peace. We are a truth group. And Esau Edom and his, you know, his, uh, one of his handlers, his gatekeepers. All right. His demons, which the word demons mean intelligent. You know, you have no class vocab Malone who was set up. And if you're not rooted in his truth or study, then guess what? You're going to be rooted out. All right. So let's continue. It says, and this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach to come out of her. And he came out of her and he came out the same hour. All right. So Paul was grieved. And what he did was he cast that demon out of this woman. So basically that lying spirit, you know, left her. So it says, and when her masters saw that the hope of their gains were gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers. So here it is, her masters, 
you know, who sent her out there to make to get gains, get money by her suit saying her lies, you know, they no longer saw the gains no more. They no longer believed her because why? Paul and Silas was there. All right. Because that lying spirit was uplifted off of her. And of course, Yahweh Shai was being to, uh, taught. All right. It says they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them into the magistrates saying these men being Jews do exceedingly trouble our city. Now, what's troubling the world? What's troubling the cities that are in this world? All right. Is the truth. It's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The men set up out there to teach and prophesy. It says, and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe being Romans. So you have these Israelites back then, all right, they despised the word of the Lord because it did not go along with them and the laws that they kept unto the Romans. That is the same thing that is happening today, all right? You got two thirds of the Lord's people who will wait, who will hear this truth, but then they would deny it because they would say that's against me being an American, you know, or that's me. Uh, uh, that's against me being of this country or that land or that land. All right. Or of these people. So it says and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, you know, because why? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh have made us separate, made us holy. Okay. We don't not supposed to eat pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. You're not the not supposed to worship pagan holidays. Okay? You're not supposed to commit adultery, be a murderer, have covered uh covered, you know, over another man's possessions, and vice versa, a woman over another woman's possessions. Alright? It says, neither to observe being Romans. It says the multitude rose up together against them. And the magist magistrates ran off their clothes and commanded to beat them. It says, and when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging a jailer to keep them safety, safely. So, you know, Paul and them got beat and then they got cast into prison. That sound like something today, you know, and, and we're approaching the time, the season and time and purpose under the heaven, okay, that... You know, you being a man of the Lord, it's a possibility you could be persecuted for this word, being beaten and then cast into prison. So you're going to have a lot of men, all right, a lot of women that's going to denounce being an Israelite. You know, you got no class vocab Malone set up, all right, to uh, demonize all of us Israelites. They basically want to tie us all into one, you know, so don't be surprised. False flags. You know, another shooting or some dumb shit, you know, or anything. You got ages in, in every camp. Don't be surprised or marvel when they pop their head up and cause trouble for you. You know, this is all done by Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, but it's done for a purpose. See, we understand the purpose for it. And that's what comforts you, you know, because, yeah, it's easier said than done. But this word should comfort you. Understand the method within the madness you know that's the saying in the world the method madness you know he has a method to his madness so understand the method in the madness all right now it says and the multitude rose up together against them and the magistrate ran off their clothes and commanded to beat them and when they had laid many stripes upon them they cast them into prison charging a jailer to keep them safely safely all right so this jailer had a strong charge you know, that if basically if something happened and these guys escaped, they, they were more than likely put the officer to, to, to death. All right. So it says charging a jailer to keep them safely. It says who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in their stock. So this jailer was so afraid and was making sure that, you know, they can't escape. He locked them up put them behind bars but even locked them up while they were while they were behind the bars you know so when you use your your uh you know your imagination and just thinking of how they they could have been chained by their ankles to the railing or their arms chained to the railing even while they behind the bars so it says at midnight paul and silas prayed and sang praises unto yahweh 
and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison was shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose. So for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to allow Paul and Silas to get beat, to get cast into prison, you know, the outcome of it was this, you know, because it's nothing impossible to the Lord. The Lord could easily stop these demons for doing anything unto us. But as the saying go, there's a method with the madness. There's a method in the madness. All right. It says, and suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prison was shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loose. And it shows you Paul and Silas were in good spirit because they were singing praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? And the prisoners heard them. So by them singing praises and rejoicing in the Lord, this happened right after. This is showing the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai on the right hand side, all right? You, you, you elites and you demons, you, you handlers, all right? You gatekeepers that work on the left side, y'all day is about due. This, this is it. This is it, man. All right. Okay. This is it, man. This is it. All right. So let me continue. Verse 27. And the keeper of the prisoner awakened out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open and drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners have been flee. So this man was, was, was going to kill himself if Paul and Silas would have had just dipped off and escaped. It says, but Paul cried with a loud voice saying, do thyself no harm for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. All right. So being that Paul and Silas were persecuted, being that they were cast into prison. And when they started singing praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, an earthquake happened and it, and it broke their chains off of them. It broke. You know, it was an earthquake, man. You know, it, it shit, the, the gates opened up, you know, to the point where they could have ran out. But why was this done? All right. You had this officer, which clearly had to be an Israelite. You know, he, this, 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 this power that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah just done. All right. For Paul and Silas, it awoke, you know, and brought men to believing in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So persecution by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is also to make people also believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to know that his word is true. That's the method in the madness. It says, then called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. So guess what? As this man came trembling because he know the powers of Paul and Silas and who they cried upon, Yahweh, okay, Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? That he knew the word would, was true And I'm going to leave it at that Because we're approaching these times Of being demonized We're approaching the time of being persecuted Esau having coming down Have a great wrath Knowing that he had but a short time Alright Things are going to happen But guess what We keep hope and faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Now it's easier said than done And this is why we pray Pray Alright Pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai To have mercy And have strength And endurance To endure all the way to the end you know, so I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.